Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about the company and the stock New Age Beverage. So without any further ado, let's get started. So when we look at this stock, we can see it has a negative P.E. ratio, negative P.E. forward, negative earnings per share. We can see the outflow being much larger than the inflow. This is not looking good. This is looking bad. I just made five million dollars. Five million. That's five million dollars the past month investing. As you can see, I have more than one hundred million dollars. Subscribe to my channel so I can teach you how to make millions. Let me tell you about my day so far. Coffee in Paris, surfed the Maldives, took a little nap on Mount Kilimanjaro. Oh yeah, and I got digits from this Polish chick in Rio. And then I jumped back for the final quarter of the NBA Finals. Court side, of course. And all that was before lunch. I could go on, but all I'm saying is, I'm standing on top of the world. Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about the company and the stock New Age Beverage. So without any further ado, let's get started. So when we look at this stock, we can see it has a negative P.E. ratio, negative P.E. forward, negative earnings per share. We can see the outflow being much larger than the inflow this is not looking good this is looking bad for this company right over here when you look at the analysts the analysts are looking at this company as a buy when we look when we look at the analysts we can see that the low price is at an eight and it's below its lows it's at the five dollars and eighty nine cents range and the average is all the way at nine dollars while the highs the highs are at eleven dollars eleven dollars can it hit its glory days can it hit its glory days i think it could definitely reach up to ten like close to ten dollars nine dollars for sure it could definitely go up to nine dollars but it could also fall it could also fall down to one dollar in the one dollar range when you look at the financials we can see the income is looking very poor but over the years you can see that the earnings per share has fallen but the revenue the revenue has been increasing this is good news good news and it's mixed news i should say when you look at the financial statement, the net income is looking very poor. When you look at the total liabilities, it doesn't have that much debt. The problem with this company is its operating costs. That's the issue with this company. Its operating costs is looking poor. Miss Maniac says this might be the higher low. Wait for trend change. NBEV new age beverages and is and pretty much this is what people are talking about these are some new age beverage products Castro is showing and we have chart mill who says it has a bad technical rating but does it show a decent set pattern and it looks like we have mixed opinions over here definitely mixed opinions the analysts are looking at this company as a buy 
not a strong buy, but just a buy. And we can also see I've made a bunch of New Age Burvage videos, so check my previous ones out and make sure you guys look forward to my new New Age Burvage videos. So smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and thanks for watching. One thing about this company is that they've a certain proximity from the personification of redundant axioms presupposed upon tautological repetitions and enhance and enhance their paradoxical paradigm through redundant innovations. Warren Buffett, the billionaire investor said be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful by billionaire Warren Buffett and essentially what this means is when everybody when when traders are greedy they'll keep on buying buying and buying and driving the price up and thinking that it's going to keep on going up and up and up but eventually what ends up happening is it, the stock ends up tumbling back down to earth from the moon because of greed and then a, and people that's how people lose a lot of money and when Warren Buffett says, be greedy when others are fearful, what he means is that when others are fearful because the stock plummets and everyone starts selling their stocks at a discount, that's the time you want to start buying companies. That's the right time to buy. But usually, people start selling. People call it a crash. That word crash scares people. Really? Let's change it. Let's change the definition. Instead of crash, let's call it. Let's call it a discount. That's essentially what it is. A discount. That's really what it's also all about. So as we can see, the Fear and Greed Index by CNN. What emotion is driving the market right now? What emotion? Right now, the greed is driving the market right now. And the reason for that is, as we can see, the McKellen volume summarization index measures advancing and declining volume on the New York Stock Exchange. During the last month, approximately 8.23% more of each day's volume has traded in advancing issues than in declining issues, pushing this indicator forward the upper end of its range for the last two years. And as we can see, the stock price strength, that was the breath. With the stock market, the stock price strength, the number of stocks hitting 52 week high, 52 weeks highs exceeds the number of hitting lows and is at the upper end of its range, indicating extreme grade. As we can see, that's why the market kept going back up and up as we can see it's in the greed territory as we can look at the safe haven demand the difference in 20 day stock and bond returns stock have outperformed bonds by 2.92 percent points during the last 20 trading days 
This is close to the strongest performance of stocks relative to 